Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Jenny and today I have a large Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Everything I picked up is a brand new. If you want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you are to see what is new and what to look out for. I'm always pretty good about linking those down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below as well. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you on what I purchased. I'm gonna start off with some artwork. Now, the Dollar Tree has been on fire with these canvas and framed art. I am not a big fan of their frames and their glass breaks pretty much if you and sneeze on it it'll break so you got to be really careful but you can always spray paint or hand paint the frames to do something else with them or you can take the print out and do something else this right here is by far my favorite picture I have ever been able to find at the Dollar Tree ever I love everything about it the colors except the frame absolutely hate the frame again it's easy to take it out you can cut around it if you want or just Mod Podge it on a piece of wood or on a canvas. Do your own thing if you don't want to leave it in this. That is my favorite. I've only been able to find that one time. Um, I hope this last week. Luckily, I was able to find another one. Now, this color frame I really like. I will not touch this right here. I absolutely love the colors and everything. The eucalyptus, as you can see, I have eucalyptus right there. All of that is from Kirkland's, which that's the first time I've been in Kirkland's in like a decade. And the big vase that it's in, I got that at Marshall's for 10 bucks. But that is really cute. This one, I like the purple in it, but I do not like the frame. Again, I most likely will cut that out and put it on something else. Now, these right here are the canvas. Um, I am working on some boho DIYs along with some other DIYs. So I thought these two right here would be perfect for that. Again, these are the canvas art by Special Moments. So I picked up those two. And then same with these colors because a lot of the colors that I'm doing these DIYs in are pretty much these exact colors. So they are different, which kind of hard to tell, but they are. You can kind of see the circles are different. So I picked up that. And then the last one I picked up was this. Um, is that an aloe plant? I don't know. But I didn't realize that they had a paint like thick on that. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see how it's raised. I don't think you can see that in the... Can you see that? I don't think you can. That's different and again you can always rip the canvas off and just use the frame for something else you can paint it spray paint it whatever i see a lot of people doing that ripping the canvas and do their own thing um they've been doing that for years now so that's always a good idea if you don't want to you know keep the canvas picture what is that i don't know okay these again love the colors of this these are the little I call them little shadow box pictures. And of course, I can't find my ruler. Give you an idea on how big these are. Um, I have no idea. Let's see, six by five? I don't know, six by six. Love the colors. These do come apart fairly easy, so if you don't like the picture or whatever and you just want to use the frame, you can. It does come with a little hangy thing in the duber if you want to hang it up. The other one is this one. It says family, a little bit of crazy, a little bit of loud, and a whole lot of love. You can always dissect it and do something else. And then the other one um, is it's not how big the house is, it's how happy the home is. So that is what that looks like. And there is no glass. Let me go ahead and open one of these for you. There's no glass in it. It is plastic. Let me see if I can take it apart for you without breaking it. Mm -hmm. I think I'll break it if I try too hard. So you can see how it kind of slips out. It probably slip out fairly easy. 
they have their banks back in stock. They carry these off and on. Um, I've done multiple DIYs with these. In fact, one of my very first DIYs I did was using one of these banks. So the two I picked up, this one says New Adventure Fund. Now I'm not gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna do something else with it. Um, the way you open it up, you lift the top, take your nail, I gotta put my leg up here, and then it snaps right out. Now you can use a razor blade or I think fingernail polish remover, and you could take these letters off and do your own thing. These glass, I mean, they do pop out. You just gotta be really careful. There's a little bit of glue. So if you are gonna paint this and you wanna pop the glass out, you can. I've done that in the past. You just gotta be really careful that you don't cut yourself. So yeah, they, they pop open fairly easy. So I picked up that one. And that one, I do believe they have four or five different ones. Um, a few videos back, I hauled these shampoo bars. They didn't even know they existed. Knew nothing about them. They had three different ones. I picked up the two and I fell in love with this smell. So I had to go back and pick up the other one. This one is the Berry Bliss. So I'm going to see if this is like the other ones that smell like amazing. They do come in this little tin. It says body and earth. Here we go. What? Wow. That smells good. Not as good as the other two I hauled, but this isn't bad. And I know a lot of you said you used it like a couple of dozen times. And I think on here it says you can use it up to, yeah, 50 washes. I didn't even know these things existed. Now, do you, does that mean like you can have really long hair like me and get 50 things? I don't know. Actually, I like the tin too. Cute. Okay. So yeah, wanted to show you that. Um, they have some new finger oil polish. This is by Flower, and I do believe that is um, Drew Barrymore bland, bland brand. So that is the nail polish, and believe it or not, that is what I have on. So I did open it because I wanted to show you. I have three coats on it, so if you want it darker, you put more coats. So, so far, so good. Had it on for a couple of days, and it's not chipping off like some other that I've worn before. Okay, I hauled a wrist brace thing, and now I found an, uh, I found an elbow. Latex-free, life care for her, and it's a size medium. Fits elbows 9 to 12 inches. I don't know how you measure that, but that is what that looks, looks like. There's a little packet there. I mean, I like the colors. Let's try this baby. Oh, wow, that looks complicated. I don't know. Can you put? I don't know. Let's see. Let's try it. I mean, what's this for? It's actually big. I have no idea. What's that supposed to do? I don't know. It has kind of like a rubber grip, but it wasn't gripping anything. I don't know. I guess you never know when your elbow is going to go bad. Okay, moving on. They have a bunch of new ones of these. Are they Ani? I think that's how you pronounce it. These 100% handmade lashes, natural lashes. I thought I would try a pair. I probably won't be able to put them on because I flinch so bad. But I have noticed um, when I watch TikTok, there's a lot of TikTokers that will go to all these different do Dollar Trees and they will buy every single pair hundreds of them they'll take the whole display and just buy it all and they'll turn around and sell these for five to eight dollars each these now these are the smallest ones i could find some of the ones that they carry i don't even know how you can open your eyelid wearing those big butterfly things on your i don't know this one was number six eight six six one two Interesting, I know. Okay, they have some new inflatable neck rest pillows. So for those that are going on spring break or any 
traveling. They had it in two different colors. They have it in blue and gray. I picked up one in the gray. Uh, my two girls are going to Atlanta this month. Uh, my daughter won a contest of Justin Bieber or whatever. Um, actually, she got she was talking to him on the phone a few nights ago. Him and uh, Haley. She actually has some of Haley's clothes and Justin's clothes. And she's friends with them, by the way. But anyway, she won a contest and she's going down there to meet Snoop Dogg and I don't know, all these other people. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to put like a butt donut. I'm not going to be able to blow that up. This is no. Put it in the front, it doesn't fit. It's falling right off. Maybe I have too skinny of a neck. I mean, it doesn't even. At least the the cloth ones. I mean, they kind of stay on your neck. These, I mean, it doesn't stay on your neck. So I guess if you want to make it into a, I don't know, a rainbow, I don't know, or like a little stage for a little puppet show, finger puppets, I don't know, but I would definitely not use this for the neck. I mean, just my honest opinion. I don't think it's worth it, but you might like it. Um, these are hanging up on the plastic strips here on the end cap by the makeup. That's where I found those. So meh. Don't, I don't recommend it. Um, I was finally able to find the lemons. It's what taken me two years to actually find the lemons. I can always find the limes, but not the lemons. These are the floral garden. You get three per pack. And I knew these were going to go quick. So I bought a couple of um, packs and I went back a couple of days later. They are all gone. Just the limes left. So if you're looking for lemons and you find them, you better grab them because I guarantee you they're not going to have them the next time you go there. They have quite a few new flowers. I really wanted uh, quite a few of these but they only had one so i picked up just the one these are by floral garden and it is called the, the black eye susan but they do have it in different colors they had it in pinks blues peaches and the yellow i think the yellows kind of re resemble um sunflowers so yeah let's pick those up and I picked up one of the garland. They are four feet. They had two different ones. So they had this on the brown branch with the plain leaves. And then they had it with like white stripes or whatever. I know they've had stuff like this before. Is this new? Like I thought the branch was green last time. I don't know. So let me see if I can. I think they have this tied on here. And you can always add other things to this. And I have no idea how they did that. I really have no idea. Why does it look so complicated? I don't know. It's all tangled. Well, maybe. I mean, you can add flowers to it. Okay. So that is... Hmm. Hmm. What else? make it into a C or a pair of glasses or hmm, what else can you make out of this a halo thing I don't know I mean it's awfully curvy okay moving on don't know about that they have some new frames they had it in the really dark brown and they had it in this like white rustic now these are perfect for like table numbers or whatever. I'm not using that. I'm doing a DIY with these. So they are small. I think it was like a two by three. I think that's the size of them. Uh, I picked up one blind bag and well, if you want to call it a blind bag. This is Trolls um, by Hasbro. I could not determine what was inside here. I was trying to show you guys in the walkthrough and I, I mean, I don't know. I honestly don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. After I open these, I do donate them to 
some dear friends of mine that appreciate all the stuff that I donate to them. So no, I do not keep everything that I buy. You know, I still get a lot of people asking me that. What do you do with everything? I don't keep everything. I donate a lot of my stuff. So slowly but surely, I'm going to get this off. So looks like an onion. Oh, okay. So you get a thing of stickers. And you get a checklist. And you get, oh, you get two bags. So let's go ahead and hopefully I didn't cut any hair. I don't know if they have hair. Oh, so it has a little pet. Cute. Okay, and oh, okay. Well, aren't you just a funny little thing? Who remembers those trolls back in the 80s when you'd shake it and their hair goes all funky? So that is what the little troll looks like with their little pet and the stickers and this thing. I'm sure you can probably do it. This is actually a pretty cool, you know, that would be even neat if you did like a, a Christmas ornament. Keep it open and have like pictures in there or like a little figurine or something. I don't know. Just an idea. Now I guarantee if you would have bought this at Target or Walmart, it's probably easily four or five bucks. So when you combine it at the Dollar Tree for a buck, then yes, that is a good deal. We have a, quite a few different hats. I thought these were fun. Um, kind of reminded me of like the 80s colors. So this one is the white, red, and blue baseball cap. And it does not fit my head very well. So if you have a big head, then I would not recommend unless you're going to wear them backwards and then this one I thought was really cute and they have like plain colored ones too so they have the pink teal and the white actually I feel like I should have one of those little twirly things blowing in the wind wearing one of those so I don't like how those fit so um yeah those probably be donated to a kid maybe it doesn't say it's a kid's hat so just a heads up these fit like for a kid all right, I was able to find the men's body lotion. This is a 16.9 ounce, softens skins, fast absorbing, and it does have a wonderful scent. I bought two bottles. I already gave one bottle to my husband to use. It's not overpowering, and I really like it. And I can't believe you get this big thing of lotion for only one dollar. Okay. Brillo. Brillo, Brillo, Brillo. They have some cleaning wipes. I've been able to find three different sets. So here you have the Brillo Basics cleaning wipes. You get 40 of them, multi-surface citrus clean. So there is that one. And then they had the Brillo Basic Basics cleaning wipes with bleach. 40 of them. And then you get 40 in the bathroom wipes. So, oops. Okay, so it has a little tin thing. Let's see if you're supposed to. There we go. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like a Christmas tree. Ooh, I like those. Those are the bathroom wipes. I might as well just go ahead and just sniff all of them. This one is the citrus. Ooh, that is citrusy. I like that one too. Kind of reminds me of the old chapstick back in the 80s. And, yeah, that smells like bleach. But it doesn't smell like a swimming pool bleach. Sometimes when people use bleach, it just smells like an indoor swimming pool. Hmm. I like that. But I really like this one. It smells like a Christmas tree. So if you've ever tried any of those, comment down below and let me know how well they worked for you. I also had these scrub uh, This is a two-in-one non-scratch microfiber cleaning pads. You get two. Cleans quicker and easier. Tough scrub side for removing stuck on grime. Microfiber side for wiping, absorbing, and general cleaning. Go ahead and open this up. 
and show you what it looks like. And this looks like one of those eye patch things when you're sleeping. So I thought I'd give those a try. Uh, this is the kind of Noxzema that I use. So if we ever go anywhere and I don't have to, you know, dig some up and put in a little container. This is the Noxzema Classic Clean with eucalyptus. And this is a two ounce thing, so perfect for traveling. So I picked up one of those. And they're Hot Wheels. I cannot get over on how many Hot Wheels the Dollar Tree has been carrying. Now you can, and they're hit and miss at other stores. You know, sometimes they're like a dollar twenty, a dollar nine, or whatever. But of course, at the Dollar Tree, they're always a dollar. And I know a lot of you are still looking for that Hello Kitty um, truck. If you've been able to find it, comment down below and let me know. But I picked up the Ninja Turtle one. So, that's where I'm at. All right, the rest are some food items I was able to find. And now my $1 tree, my favorite one there on Maysville Road, they have a ton of food. When the pandemic started, I would buy so much food there. I would, oh, I still do. I try to go there first, buy what I can, and then go to the other grocery store and pay what I have to for whatever I need. But these are an amazing deal. These are by Betty Crocker. These are chilled treats. You get four. Normally you only get one, but you get four per pack. This is the French vanilla mousse with salted caramel topping. Oh, right there. One dollar. And they also had lemon mousse with lemon drizzle topping. And a limited edition pumpkin spice cake with cream cheese icing. Again, you get four of them. Always check the dates on any of your food products that you purchased at the Dollar Tree, just in case they might have forgot to pull it or not. And another item from Betty Crocker. This is a limited edition no-bake cookie dough bite snickerdoodle with cinnamon sugar topping. Safe to eat raw, ready in 15 minutes or less. Just add butter. And this is a 12.3 ounce, one mix pouch and one topping pouch. Ooh. Yummy. And then the last food item I picked up is the Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing. What? And you get three individually ones, which is great. So if you pack your lunch or whatever, you can take your little container of your dressing and add it to your salad on wherever you're going. So that is oh, love their salad. That and casa. Mm, so good. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my video. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Mm -hmm.